You can select the object, you can resize it, you can hold down the alter option key and duplicate it, you can recolor it, and much, much more. So where can you get it? Well, it's from a great website, Pixel Squid. Pixel Squid has got thousands and thousands of models. It's also got a plugin within Photoshop, though personally, I don't actually like using the plugin, but I'm just going to quickly show you the plugin. Plugin and Pixel Squid and there. And you can search it, 19,691. Lots and lots of different ones there to access. Also, Lightbox, and that includes all the ones that I've downloaded. And you can see there's not many in there. The reason for that, it has some quirks. I have to say, it really, so you see this image, just click it, process it, <laughs> and it's chosen something completely different. Don't ask me why. So most time, I don't use it. What do I use instead? I just go to File and Open, and I just select the file. Now, obviously, I've already got it open, so let's revert it, and you can see the design. There's the frog. I like to use the PSD file. The PSD file at least means I've got the file open, and you, of course, can use it in other things as well, other applications. Though, the website suggests Photoshop. There's still millions and millions of other applications that are available. Photoshop is great, it is one of the best, but there are also Finity, Painter, and I like to use these designs in lots of things. So PSD, so much easier than a plugin that works most of the time fine, but not always. So let's just go to the website. Please check out the website for all the details about what you can use, what you can't use. Now, not everything can be used on the website. So here's that frog. And you can see the frog, and what you can do, you can rotate it, which is great. It's a 3D render, it's not a real frog. I don't think. I don't think it's a real frog. So it's a 3D render. And as a 3D render, I struggle with 3D renders. So I'm really pleased to have access to this, albeit obviously at a cost, but it's really great to have a render that I can then use in my YouTube videos, etc., and other projects. But you can see you can add it to your Lightbox PNG. You've got shadows on, so you can download the file. And what it add downloads is this. So if you download this, you do that, click here. It's different. It'll be a different file to, to that. So that's another image of it, or that. So you can create thousands of different sort of different directions for your frog there, which you can then download as a PNG file. Also PSD. Personally, prefer PSD, but if you want light work, lightweight, PNG is fine for most things, because it's got transparency, so you can use it. But if you want a lot of different, and I'm going to show you the file. So you've got the file I've just here. You can see if I just drag this over, this is the file, the PSD file that I've downloaded, Photoshop format. Lots of applications support it in lots of different ways. And you can see you've got depth. So you've got here atmosphere, selection areas. Just download that. So click there, selection by part, my material, subject, subject there. You've got the shadows, background, and so on. So you've got quite a lot of different things. You can also select it by the group. You can move it by the group. Or you can move it by layer. So you can just reposition things. So if you decide a layer, and then you decide, you know what? That shadow, I want somewhere else. Don't know why you want to move it somewhere else, but you can if you want to, or apply different effects to it, make it float a bit. A flying frog there. So you've got your layer there. So let's just go back to this. So back to my Safari, of course, other websites, web browsers, of course, perfectly reasonable as well. You can see here, let's just close that, royalty free license, always a good idea to check Always a good idea to check the things you can do with it. There is a good long list. That's what I liked about it. Really liked the fact that I could download and use it in lots of different ways. Because sometimes you go on these things and you find that you can't. So here you can. Now some, it will say editorial. And that's a different matter. You can't. You Obviously it's like Captain America. So you can't do everything you want to do with it. You've got some additional frogs, but also you've got here, say Australia. So let's just click there, Australia. 
And you can see you've got Australian flag. Now, let's just deselect the editorial and see what it's out. So you access that. If you want the Australian flag, desk flag. If you want an Australian flag for this, Australia, the logo, nicely rendered. Australian flag, lots of Australian flags. Koalas, metal globes, and kangaroos, and much, much more. Access them all here. 137 products, it says there, which you can download. You've got to sort by mess match, as well as newest. I'm not certain why oldest isn't included, always baffling. Categories, also maybe sort by ones you've got or not got, but still. So categories, say art and media. So art and media, let's see, 5,449 products. And again, deselect this, so probably be a few less. 5,111 now. So you've got here, maybe a digital drawing tablet. You want that in your project? You can see now if I just call that one, or the statue of woman. So just click there. Or a cassette tape. So you've got this statue. Now you can move it around, reposition it. You can say, oh, that looks great. Or that looks great. Or that looks great. And so on. So you can move it around. And you've got other related ones as well. Just go over here. Save it as a PSD. So click there. And it will process it. And off it goes. Stored away for future use. So you can open that PSD file and manipulate this design in your project. You'll notice also at the top, you've got these categories, PNG collections. I'm not certain exactly why they separated the two, since they're exactly the same, as far as I can see. So you've got here, you've got the collections. All it does, say you've got fitness objects. So if you want to build up a scene of fitness, you've got this lovely image here, but you've got all the objects. Again, ah, oh, doesn't actually, that's weird, doesn't have the editorial bit there. So I assume you can access all these. But again, just click on it. So leather punch bag. So click on that. You've got your bag there. And again, you can move it around inside. I always want to move it there. Move it there. You can say, oh, that looks great, or that looks great, or that looks great, and then store it away. And you've got lots more down here. You've also got help. So if there's any questions, obviously contact Pixel Squid. Just find out the license. Just check out the license. Seems pretty good. Plug in as well as light boxes. So you got there and also my light boxes. So if I click on that, six objects. Obviously, you should match what I've got in the other thing there as well. And you've got some more details down here as well. And obviously the account. And that is the Pixel Squid. I think it's a great little tool. Brilliant excellent to be able to access i've actually over the years used lots of 3d models i find 3d models really quite frustrating to use most of the time i'm always sort of struggling with the renders take forever and now obviously it's just great just to be able to access it and then just go over here again go to group and move it around and just hold down hold down duplicate it go to filters oh, it's just can't apply the filters of group, but you can if you go, let's go to layer, smart objects, convert to smart objects. Let's just do that very quick, then filter, and then you go for blur and Gaussian blur. And you can then obviously create a nice blurred frog. And that is Pixel Squid. Really great little service. Please check it out.